funny how the very politicians and so-called leaders who are imposing these economy and livelihood crushing lockdowns, shutdowns, and infringements don't care to share in the struggle themselves? Yeah, greasy Governor Gavin Newsom, I'm talking to you, buddy, and it's time for final thoughts. Back in May, Nancy Pelosi's favorite nephew and the governor of the Republic of California asked state workers to take a 10% pay cut to help pay for his never-ending coronavirus lockdown. But he seemed so heartbroken to do so, too. But rest assured, he was ready and willing to take that same 10% pay cut in solidarity with state workers and employees. Nothing breaks my heart more than making budget cuts. There's a human being behind every single number. I know this is the last thing uh, that uh, our partners uh, uh, want to hear, uh, but unfortunately we're in a position where it's required of all of us, and by the way, including me and including my entire staff. Really? You sure about that, Governor? Because according to reporting from the SAC B, those state workers had their salaries slashed starting last month. It would appear Greasy Gavin is still collecting his full paycheck to the tune of $17,479 per month. Isn't that something? But there must be an explanation, right? Because there's no way he would go back on his word, be so greedy, so slimy, so greasy. Well, according to his fall man, I mean his spokesperson, Greasy Gavin getting that whole chunk of unslashed, uncut, uncut touch paycheck was just an oversight. Isn't it funny how every crooked thing that happens in California, or under any Democrat for that matter, is just an oversight? Like when non-citizens voted in the California midterms due to an oversight with the fraud-ridden and unreliable vote-by-mail program? Yeah, oversight. Or how illegal immigrants who are unable to vote are accidentally put on the voter rolls by an oversight in the motor voter program? Or how criminal aliens are allowed to roam the streets of the Golden Sanctuary State? That oversight list goes on and on and on but the buck never seems to stop with anyone, certainly not Governor Gavin. But the fact that in a time when his state has unemployment rates over 13% and a bottomed out economy that has once again been shut down by his own hand, that slimy snake would continue to collect his full paycheck courtesy of California taxpayers is truly sick and twisted. And let's not forget, Greasy Gavin also has the audacity to ask for billions in federal bailouts and blames President Trump for it all. But it gets better. Keep in mind that California, by declaration of Governor Newsom, has also created a fund for illegal immigrants paid for by the taxpayers to the tune of over 75 million bucks. This is not leadership, it's madness. And to the people of California, I will say this again. Are you listening? Your state does not have to be this way. You have the fifth largest economy in the world and you're voting and reelecting people, Democrats, who are flattening your beloved state near the point of no return. So you have two choices. Stop voting for Democrats or get the hell out while you can because it's only gonna get worse. And Governor Newsom, I don't know how you can sleep at night. You're truly a disgrace to California, to the country, to yourself. So enjoy your fat salary while your constituents continue to suffer and struggle. Karma will find you, and I hope it finds you by way of a recall or a vote out. Those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.